make sure we get All right, there we go. Yo, yo! What's going on, champions? It's Marquise Money Mike Williams. Uh, just wanted to shoot a quick video. Man, I woke up this morning and... It was a beautiful day. I woke up this morning, but you know, I got on Facebook, just finished working out, and I started seeing all the results from last night. You know, it's kind of funny because I I didn't really, I didn't really tune in last night. I I went to sleep. You know, I was tired for some reason, and you know, I wasn't really worried about it. You know, because I began to look at things at an early point in my life from a different perspective. You know, I learned early in life that life is 10 percent what happens to you and 90 percent of how you respond to it. So while everybody's frustrated, everybody's upset, everybody's talking about they're moving to Canada without a passport. I don't think you can really do that. I think you can only stay 180 days. But, you know, now is not the time to to be an alarm now is not the time to be in a uproar now is not the time to to fear your future you know i once heard that a setback is a setup for a comeback and the biggest thing that i realized when i woke up this morning you know eight years ago i got a call from my mentor paul d jones and he said one of the biggest things that he realized about president obama becoming president is that anything is possible there was a time where it was it was thought that a black man would never ever you know be president probably not even be in government you know and now we fast forward eight years you know of understanding anything is possible from that regard to understanding that anything is possible on the opposite end of the spectrum somebody who has no political background at all somebody who actually doesn't have the 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 track record of you know a Hillary Clinton a uh, uh, a Jill Stein or you know a uh, uh, I forgot the other guy's name Johnson you know but somebody who doesn't have the political background can actually get into office you know for those of you that are from the soda like me you know we laughed and and we joked about the wrestler Jesse Ventura becoming president I mean not becoming president but you know getting into office I think as governor you know but at the at the presidential level you know it really shows you that anything is possible so when you have aspirations and things that you want to accomplish in life you know now's the time to stop blaming it on the man now's the time to stop blaming it blaming it on your skin color blaming it on your education blaming it on other factors outside of yourself and realize that if you're willing to do the work if you're willing to step forth and and, and do something about it that it's possible you just have to be willing to do the work so some things you really want to recognize you know over the course of the next four years because that's all he's guaranteed is four years you know we don't know if he's gonna get reelected we don't really know what he's going to do during the course of the four years I'm not a Trump supporter I'm gonna say that up front but now that he is the president you know one of the things that my pastor Creflo a dollar always taught me is that we cannot control the actions of man but yet we, we still are required to, to love man and woman no matter what we do, whether we agree or, or disagree with what they do. So I love, as a child of God, I love Trump. And the only thing that I could do is pray that he makes the right decisions while he's in office. I mean, how many of us have had bad character in our past, have made mistakes in our past, and now we're, we're a different man? You know, even in, in the Bible, you know, the Bible talks about, you know, Saul and Paul. You know, uh, there was a point where Saul did a lot of crazy things, you know, but when he was born again and he became Paul, and this isn't a, a biblical, you know, sermon or anything, but when he became Paul, you know, they they challenged him about the things that he did in, in the past. And he said, look, I have wronged no man. And they're like, look, you did all these things. And what he was saying was, 
that was the old man. That old man is dead. Who I am today is completely different. You know, so all that we could do is hope and, and pray that 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 Trump becomes a different guy, that he's humbled by the experience. Because truth be told, I don't think that he really thought he was going to win. You know, he probably was uh, running for president to sign it off his bucket list. But I want you guys to understand that with the Republicans being in office, a lot of things are going to change. You know, you're going to see a lot of transition because Republicans are business owners. You know, you're going to start seeing the gas prices go back up. You're going to start seeing a lot of changes within the economy. And there's going to be a transition period as Trump attempts to to make his mark because he has a lot of ego. So he wants to make his mark and he, he wants to make it as quickly as possible. You know, so you being somebody who's most of us are, are middle class Americans, you know, you being somebody who's a middle class American, American working to to survive, working to grind, working to get ahead. The first thing that you have to understand is that 10 years ago, Trump wrote a book with Robert Kiyosaki where he forecasted that the middle class is going to go away and there's going to be a poor class and there's going to be a, a, a rich class. Now, if he forecasted that 10 years ago and he has the ability to to sway the direction that goes, do you think that he's going to exercise that ability and, and, and push the agenda well, you don't want to to think about that. You don't want to roll the dice, if you will. You have to make a choice. And it talks about that in the book. Actually, I got the book right here. You know, here's the book right here. I'm not telling you you got to go read the book because the premise of the book is you got to make a choice. You got to decide right here, right now. Are you going to to be poor or are you going to be rich? And this isn't an ego thing. This isn't a religious thing because I know some of you are saying, well, I'm rich in the Lord. And that's great. You can be rich in the Lord all you want, but your bills still have to be paid. And the Lord has already put opportunities in front of you that because of your your ego, because of your your miseducation, that maybe you didn't walk through that door. Maybe you didn't take advantage of that opportunity. And see, what you have to realize is that education changes situations. You know, one of my close friends taught me that a long time ago, that education changes situations. So if you want to change where you are in life, it's not about you trying to go do it yourself, because if you knew how to do it yourself, you would have already did it. But it's about either getting a coach and a mentor or gaining the information that you need to move out of the situation that you're in. Because I'm going to say it again. If you had the education, if you had the knowledge and wisdom, the power to change your situation, whether it be spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally or financially, you would have already done it. So stop having an ego. Stop fronting like you're going to do things different because the normal cycle is okay, 2017 is coming up, or we'll say the new year is coming up. I'm going to do things differently as soon as the new year comes. What are we going to do differently? We're going to lose weight. We're going to, we're going to make some money. We're going to really make it happen this time. But by the time February and March rolls around, you're back in your old habits. You're back in your own ways. Why? Because you're leaning on your own understanding. You're leaning on your own information and you have to stop doing that. So if you aren't a, a business owner now, I'm going to tell you right here, right now, you need to get your own business. If you simply have a job, that's cool. Be thankful that you have a job, but don't be satisfied. Be thankful that you have a job, but don't be satisfied because as a job, as a W-2 employee, you're just, you're, you're paying a lot of taxes. That's all you're doing. You're giving the government an interest-free loan and you're paying the highest amount of taxes. And in today's world, you know, it's so simple to start a business. You can start a home business. You can start a traditional business. You know, me, for those of you who know me, I've been in the network marketing industry and have made a significant amount of money over the last 10 years. And that's probably the easiest business that you can get involved in with the least amount of information and resources and be able to take advantage of the tax advantages, number one, of, of, of having a 1099, your tax at a lower tax bracket. But it gives you the easiest ability to develop and grow who you are to get to that point where you could eventually start investing your money because no matter what your political position is, no matter what you do when you go to work, we all go to work for two reasons. 
We go to work because we got to maintain the quality of life that we have right now. You know, nobody wants to go backwards. That would be stupid. So you got to grind. You got to grind through your labor, trade your time for money so that you can maintain life right now. But you also go to work because, you know, one day you're going to stop working. Some people by choice, but most people in today's day and age by circumstance. So you know you got to have some type of retirement, some type of asset in place that's going to continue to help you make money even when you stop working. Most think your 401k is going to do it, but it's probably not. You know, some of you lost a ton of money in your 401k overnight because the Dow Jones just dropped like 700, 800 points and it may drop any more. So I suggest that you check your 401k. Don't panic because it will eventually go back up before you probably leave your job. But I want you to understand that's how volatile a 401k is. You know, some of you are relying on Social Security, but I'm 37 years old. You know, if you're my age or younger, Social Security is probably not going to be there by the time that you want to or expect to retire. So you have to put yourself in a position to where you control your own destiny. You have to put yourself in a position where you can take things, uh, take the bull by the horns and uh, and control it. Because the truth is, as a middle class person, as a working class person, America has voted against you. That's right. They voted against you, and now is the time to come together. Now is the time to come together and build wealth and create a movement together with no excuses. You know, we hear a lot of excuses. I see a lot of posts on Facebook. Just even now as I'm shooting this video, you see me looking away. You know, people are posting about how they're, you know, moving to Canada and how they're so upset. And and I admit, I used to be a passive person that's in, in politics, you know, when it comes to politics. But that's just, again, because of miseducation. You know, I didn't understand how it affected us, you know, from a from a global standpoint. So, You got to stop sitting on the sidelines. You got to get yourself educated, you know, and it's bigger than the presidential level. You have to start looking at your Senate. You got to start looking at your local leaders and and everything that's going on around you, because it's not just about us anymore. You know, I have three beautiful little girls and I think about their future. You know, my daughter, Mackenzie, you know, she sat up looking at some of the information with me last night. And, you know, I just sat there looking at her and all her innocence. And it made me think about, you know, what's the world going to be like five years from now, 10 years from now, when when she becomes a teenager, when she becomes a young adult. And then it hit me. It doesn't matter who the president is that's going to determine that. It determines the decisions that I make right here, right now. So you got to start making the right decisions because again, life is 10% what happens to you and, and 90, uh, 90% of how you respond or react to it. So don't play the victim right now, you guys, because America is not hearing it. They're not hearing it right now. They're about to start implementing some things, you know, uh, I was listening to a a Facebook Live earlier today. One of my friends was talking about it, how, you know, welfare, SNAP, food stamps, all that stuff is is going to be going away. So there's going to be a time and it lines right up with what Trump was saying. You know, the middle class is going to go away and you have to make the determination. Are you going to fall below the poverty line if you're not there already and be poor? Or are you going to be one of, of the rich people, you know? Are you going to be one of the rich people? So don't live in fear right now. Don't be scared about the future. Even the Bible says, uh, I think it was in Psalms. It it says, you know, a thousand may fall by my side, 10,000 by my right hand, but it shall not come near you. Don't worry about it coming near you. Just make the decision to do what it takes so that it doesn't affect you and your family. And the first thing I recommend you doing is getting a home business. Heck, you know, I recommend joining the network marketing industry. But if you don't want to join that industry, drive Uber, drive Lyft, do something. But my mentor, again, Paul Jones, I remember when he first got started in the network marketing industry, I remember him saying this always stuck with me because I see a lot of people in my life doing it. He had a situation where he wanted to change. And instead of complaining about it, he decided to do something about it. And a lot of people just complain. They complain, they complain, they complain. And complaining doesn't do anything, you guys. So so you have to stand up. You 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 have to get get fed up you guys you know right now i have that that feeling 
And, and, and I want you, if you have that feeling, don't let it leave you and don't let it be a temporary feeling that goes away. Don't post something on Facebook. Don't shoot a video like me. And I'm even speaking to myself right here. And then next week, it's just like, oh, it was just back to normal. Trump's president. It's just a part of life. No, you have to make the decision to do something about it. I always tell people, if you want to change your life financially, the first step is you must make the decision that you want something more out of life. But there's a second part to that. Most importantly, you must be willing to do the work that it takes to get it. You must be willing to do the work that it takes to get it. So right here, right now, I'm, I'm, I'm that runaway slave that got fed up and, and, and decided to, to go after my freedom and, and, and become free. You know, I'm, 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 I'm that person who's, who's overseas, who, who's so fed up with my situation that I was willing to die with 10 people in a rowboat to get to the land of opportunity versus settle for my situation. I was willing to die in the back of a truck to try to get to the land of opportunity instead of settle for my situation. And there's still people that are going to do that. Even though there may be a wall built, they're still willing to take a chance instead of settle for their situation. And I'm telling you right now, stop settling for your situation. Stop being okay with mediocrity when God has blessed us with so much opportunity. God has blessed us with people who are out here that are willing to share the knowledge and wisdom, that are willing to share the opportunities with us. And you just have to I remember my mentor saying, you know, God will send the right people to bring us knowledge and wisdom. But you have to be smart enough to step up out the way and listen. Step up out the way and listen, you guys. Step up out the way and let's make a change. Just so you understand, this isn't about race. I'm that I'm that white man or woman that saw that I wanted to do something right instead of what history or society dictated that I should do. It's not about religion. It's not about race. It's about love. And it's about taking advantage of where you are right now and changing your life. Because I'm a part of a company called JMG Net Worth. And that last word, net worth, is important because a lot of people don't even know what that word means, but they talk about they want to be wealthy. And the whole vision of JMG Net Worth is to, is to create financially free families who understand the meaning of being financially free. That's financial literacy, you guys. That's economic empowerment. That's growing spiritually, mentally, physically, emotionally, as well as financially in all areas of your life. So if you don't understand what, what's going on right now, if you don't have the financial education, I'm going to tell you, I'm here to help you. Reply in the comments, champion, and I'll contact you and we'll get a chance to talk and, and I'll give you some financial education. I'll give you some economic empowerment that will help you during these tough economic times so that you can go up a class instead of falling below because the rich class is going away. And instead of complaining about it, you know, you could be in politics or you could be in production, but you cannot be in both. Be in production, production for your family, production for your future, production for you, because you're the best investment that you got. And you're born to win. So play to win right now, because each and every one of you are already a champion. I'm going to be shooting a lot more videos. You guys, I've been gone. I've been on the sidelines. I kind of faded to black for a while, but, but I'm back and, and I'm excited about life more than ever. So stay tuned, connect with me, like my page, and um, I'm going to see you at the top and I'm going to see you at the bank in the rich class because that's what God already promised you to be. Peace.